Hello guys and welcome to a new video from Mr. Charles Agnew. Today is a good day because as we know a new Ben 10 game was announced. It's called Ben 10 Power Trip and it's from the reboot. Yeah, the reboot we all love. <laughs> um, but in all seriousness, uh, this game is coming October 9th and there's actually some info that I haven't talked to you guys about. It seems like the main villain of the game will be Hex. And if I were to guess, you would also be fighting against Charmcaster, because she's always with Hex. Hopefully this game has more than one villain. Judging from the box art, it only appears that Hex is shown there, but hopefully we get more villains. Which is weird, because the main villains of the previous game were Samboso, uh, the Bee, and then the Weather Robot, and they were all in the cover box. So it's weird that they only chose to show one, one villain on the cover art. Also, Benton games tend to show all their aliens on the cover art, and it's weird that on this one they only show six aliens. Maybe those six are the only playable aliens. They also show Kevin in the box art, but it looks like he's only gonna be a co-op character. Kind of like how Rook was in Ben 10 Omniverse, if you guys remember that game. But from what I know from Kevin so far is that he has his aliens are basically the same aliens as Ben 10, and they have all pretty much the same abilities. So probably they're just gonna be like reskins. So they're gonna have the same move sets, the same abilities. It's just different skins, and probably only accessible for you playing in local co-op or maybe who knows online co-op. Which to me is a bit weird of a decision, judging by the company that's actually making this game, or rather the developer, is PHL Collective. Is their first mainstream Benton game but they have developed a game a Benton game before for the BR which is a weird decision for them to take to only have six aliens since they already have the models for 10 aliens at least they have diamond head they have forearms they have overflow they have wrath they have shock rock they have heat blast they have wild bind and they have Stinkfly, and then they have this mustache guy, which I don't know the name. But, yeah, you guys can see it on the screen now. They have the models for all of these characters, and they're using, yeah, they're use, they're reusing most of the models. I think all of them. But they're cutting out with some characters. That seems a little bit weird. They should at least give us 10 characters. But who knows? Maybe it's like... Benton Protector of Earth, that game had only 5 playable aliens, but they had incredible depth, and they were incredibly fun to play. I love that game so much. Also, on the Omnicharge game that they developed, they have Vilgax there, which is always good. And we haven't had the new Vilgax, the reboot Vilgax, on video games, so I feel like... If, they, if it's not in this game, then it's a missed opportunity, because everybody loves Bill Guys. So Ben has his Season 3 Omnitrix, which is kind of weird, because we're in Season 4, and that Omnitrix didn't bring in like a lot of new transformation. Like, Season 2 we have the, the Omni Enhanced forms, and then the Season 4 we have the Omni Kicks forms, but then Season 3 didn't have any of that, so why would they choose to have the boring quote-unquote Omnitrix where they could have all these awesome options? Reading on the game synopsis, it says that Ben 10 and his family are enjoying their European vacation until even Magician Hex unleashes the power of four mysterious crystals. Only Ben 10 can break the course. So get ready to transform into powerful aliens to battle enemies, solve puzzles, and freely explore an exciting 3D world. It's hero time! So it seems that there might be an open world for this game, 
uh, judging by the trailer, it seems like you could walk around and they really focus on this walking around and moving and the traversal of the world, which would be nice to have uh, the very first Benton open world game. That would be really interesting. Continuing with the synopsis, we have with Gwen and Grandpa Max on your side, all the humor and rivalry from the Cartoon Network show is here. And since forearms are better than two, Kevin Levin is along for the adventure in local split-screen co-op. This is one power trip you want to take again and again. It's hero time. Oh wow, they said hero time twice. Okay, so it's confirmed that it's local co-op, not online co-op, which is kind of, I guess... Uh, bad, but that just uh, confirms my 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 hypothesis that Kevin is only a reskin of Ben, and or perhaps not. Perhaps he's like Rook, a different playable character, but you won't be able to play as him with only one player. Cause Rook on Benton Omniverse, he was his own character, but I don't think I ever played as him because I never played local co-op on that game. I'm not really sure how he how he was. So I guess the game is gonna focus you and Kevin together battering, battling Hex. Hopefully we have more villains. Like I said, they have the model for Belgax. Everyone loves Belgax. And <clears throat> yeah. But what do you guys think? Let me know in the comments below if you are excited for this game or no. Personally, I'm not the biggest fan of the reboot, but this is Ben 10, I love Ben 10 as it is, and yeah, as you can judge by the content on, on this channel. So yeah, let me know if you guys want me to cover this game fully, and what other Ben 10 games, um, other Ben 10 content you would like to see on this channel. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe if you haven't, and see you guys.